Hi guys, welcome to today's QGIS tutorial. In this video, we will learn how to create special light layers in QGIS. You can subscribe to this channel to follow all my previous useful GIS tips and tutorials. If you like what we do here and you want to support this channel, you can join our Patreon. I will provide a link in the description below. QGIS supports the use of a file format called Special Light that is a lightweight, portable way to store an entire special database in a single file. Special Light is a file-based special database just like the S3 file database that we normally use maybe in uh, commercial software like XGIS. One advantage of Special Light is that unlike Shapefile, uh, Special Light layers are portable. So let's go to QGIS and look at today's exercise. So I'll open QGIS and create a new project, new blank project. In this exercise, we learn how to create a special light layer from scratch. So in order for us to do that, we are going to go to our layers panel and select layer. Then you're going to scroll down and create a layer and you're going to be creating a new special light layer. So we're going to select new special light layer and then this uh, pop-up box appears and the first uh, row has a database. So we're going to specify the database that we're going to be creating. For this case, we're just going to create a new database so i'm going to click on the three dots here and then i'm going to navigate to a folder where i want to create the special light uh, layer so i'm going to create a new uh, i'm going to go to layer the, the, my desktop gis data then i'm going to create a new folder here and i'm going to call it special light layers this is where i'm going to all actually be saving all my special light layers then i'm going to open the folder and i'm going to create my first special light database which is i'm going to call it demo 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 one then i'm going to save it as a special light layer so i'm going to click on save then now that we have demo one special light as our database we can actually add data here if we want or we can just click on cancel to close it and then we add import data directly to our special light layer but what i want us to do is i want us to create layers into our special light layer so there are, there are three types of layers you can actually add you can actually add points lines and polygons so i'm going to start with the sample point for my special light database and the geometry type is going to be I'm going to select point then I'm going to leave the projection to that then I'm going to specify the name of the fields in my point layer and I'm going to have a, a field called point name it's a text data I'm going to add it to list then I'm going to say maybe the type it's also text data and I can add as many more information as, as I want just like creating a, a shape file so I'm going to click on OK and the sample point has appeared in my QGIS it is actually under my new special light layer so I'm, I'm also going to add another kind of layer in my special light layer so I'm going to go back to layer again create layer new special light layer then i'm still going to select the demo database the demo one database because actually if you have several databases they could have been uh, highlighted here but i only have the demo database so i'm going to now put my sample line the geometry type is a line then i'm going to leave the projection to that then i'm going to also create new new fields in my sample line so i'm going to say name text data 
I can even say length if you know the length or some information about the length it can be a whole number it can be a decimal number I'll put it at decimal number so I've actually added some information in my attribute table I'm going to say okay then I now I'm going to create my last layer which is a polygon so I'm going to go to layer again create layer a new special light layer then I'm going to put the special light layer in my in my database still I'm going to say this is a sample polygon geometry type I'm going to say polygon you can actually have even some that don't have any geometries it's up to you to decide so I'm going to select a polygon then I'm going to just say the name also of the polygon it's a text data I'm going to add it to field then uh, the type text data add it to field then say okay and I have created three empty layers for my points, lines, and polygon. So the next thing we want to do is we want to digitize some information in these, these layers that we have actually created. You can see if I open the attribute table of any of them, they're actually very empty. They just have uh, an ID that is auto-generated, then the name and the type of the information that we, we wanted to put in our layer. So we can just do a little bit of uh, digitizing here do some assumptions so i'm going to select I'm, start, I'm going to start with the point data so i'm going to select the point sample point click on the toggle edit pencil then add point features then i can just add my point features and i can call that point a name a the type i'm going to put it later on then name b then name C just like that I have my three points there so I'm going to click on save then stop editing then I'm going to go now to the line layer I'm also going to do the same thing I'm going to digitize some line features here so I'm going to select the sample line select the toggle pencil then select the add line feature then I'm going to digitize my lines here maybe say this is a, a pipeline or something like that pipeline a a i'm just going to now have double letters then okay then i'm going to say there's another pipeline here maybe it goes this way I need to call it pipeline BB. I'm going to leave the length for now. So I have the two pipelines here. Then I'm going to save my edits. Then stop editing. Then now we go to the third layer, which is the polygon. So I'm going to select the polygon, start editing. Then add a polygon feature. Then I can actually just draw the polygons here or I can just use some of the shapes that are available in uh, QGIS. So I'm going to select maybe the rectangle. Then I'm going to draw a very nice rectangle here for my first polygon. And then I'm, I'm going to call it AAA. That is for the polygon. It's just a demonstration. I'm going to have another one here. Maybe... So there's another zone here. I'm going to call it BBB. And then I can change and maybe select a circle. And then draw another polygon here and call it CCC. Then I can even select a pentagon and draw another one here. And call it DDD. So I'm going to click on save. Then I'm going to stop editing. And I have actually created my points, my lines, and my polygons for my project. When I open the attribute table, actually, all the information that we have actually digitized now is available 
in our in our layers and that is how you create your data into a specialite database so uh, the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to remove all these layers now i'm going to select all of them i'm going to remove remove them so the next thing that comes in mind is you want to actually access your data how do you access your data there are two ways you can actually do this one is by just going to the database manager selecting the database manager then under the database manager you'll see there is special light so i'm going to click on that and you can see there is a demo one already in my special light data so within my demo one you can see there is a sample polygon sample line and sample point so you can see you all you have all your data that you had actually created in the new demo special light so we can actually look at the information of the data the tables and you can see it has the table then the preview of how you digitize your information you can do the same thing for the line the preview of the lines then the preview of the points their tables and the information about the layer so this means that you've actually created a new specialite layer another way you can actually access your specialite data if you want to load it load it into qgis is by uh, bringing the browser panel here so i'm going to right click on my panels and i'm going to bring the browser panel here so i, ho I already have my browser panel here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to look for specialite select the drop down and you can see there is the demo specialite i select the drop down again and now i have my data here there's the sample line sample point and the sample polygon i can just select whatever data i want and pull it and put it into the layers tab drag it into the layers tab and it will be loaded so the points i can even put the la the points and i can also add the polygons by just dragging and dropping it into the uh, my layer canvas and i have my data ready to do any kind of analysis that i want to do so that's how you actually create a specialized database in qgis for us to access the demo specialized you can actually just go to where we saved the data in our computer so i'm going to go to my computer the desktop gis maybe you want to save it in a flash drive data and send it to someone for for them to continue working on the data then we saved it in the specialized layer and you can see we have only one file here called the demo one specialite which makes it easy for now you for, for you to now work on this data on another device without having that fear of leaving out some files because all the files that you had actually created are within just one container so that's it for today's exercise if you found this video useful and you want to learn more on qgis subscribe to my channel don't forget to give this video a thumbs up Otherwise, I'm just happy you're here. See you in my next video.